Hey everyone, it's your boy Kyle. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be finishing off Falcon the Winter Soldier and I'm reacting to episode 6. I'm so, so excited. The penultimate episode was really giving me a lot of hype uh, at the end of the series. But I'm also feeling very bittersweet about uh, finishing it off because it's another series that we're wrapping up on the channel and we're just, you know, sharing a lot of great moments together and I'm just very thankful that you are here and we can talk about the series together. Just before we get started with this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell button. Also, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter so you can edit all my latest posts. And if you're interested in videos, I am streaming on Twitch. I would love to have you over there. And if you're interested in watching my uncut version or getting early access to my content, you can pop over to my Patreon. The link for my Patreon and all my socials will be linked in the comment section down below. And I also put together a Falcon the Winter Soldier playlist. So if you're interested in watching my other reactions, I'll leave a little link in the description box down below for you to check out. And without further ado, let's get to it. Tonight we go to battle. Mm. Oh, I'm so excited. The movement is ready. They're not going to stop. Mm -hmm. Not unless we make them. Yeah, that sounds like a supremacist there. Like, as Sam was asking her, and she's like, I'm not a supremacist. And it's like, well, bitch, you are if you're trying to do all this shit. Oh, wait. I called in some backup. Excuse cool. Me, sir, are you supposed to be here? Who the hell is he? Oh. Ah, they use that same technology. Yeah, Last time we saw that was, uh. What, uh, Winter Soldier with, um, hey Sam, Black Widow. Band back together. Thank you. You're risking <laughs> a lot coming here. I hear pardons aren't all they're cracked up to be anyway. Depends on the therapist. That's awesome that Sharon's here! <gasps> uh oh. They are waiting for Sam to come to do this. I wonder if that's the technology of, uh, the LAF. Cause I think that Dovich had a, ca a case with him. There's no way that Carly would have that stuff. Hurry up, Sam! Ah. Ah. Yes! Oh. oh, I love his Sam! Yes! Ah. So happy right now. Who are you? Captain America. I thought Captain America was on the moon. No, <laughs> no he's not. That's the rumor. Not coming in. Just trying to force everybody out. Oh no! You cost me. A lot of money. <gasps> Do bitch! How much I can get for your new bird Shit, 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 shit. Oh, fuck. Nebi ne fait pas le moine. Lennox, they're heading down the east stairwell. Uh-oh. Please proceed to your transport. Mr. Barnes. It's Carly. Aren't you tired of fighting for the wrong side, Mr. Barnes? <laughs> I've done this before, kid. Yeah, he has experience. He knows how bad it can get. This. I'm fighting for something bigger than myself. I fucking knew it, this guy. Sharon's watched him now. Come on, Sam. Yeah, Dobbins is really experienced fighter, so it's gonna be so hard for Sam. Even though I believe in Sam, but you're gonna remember all the ones you killed. Don't go down this path. Yeah, but he has first-hand experience of that, and he knows That's it's bad. You should sit this one and he didn't, well, he didn't even to control well, himself because of Hydra. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm glad you took my call. You've been a big help. <gasps> was that just stall him? That was to fucking stall him. <gasps> no. Seriously, Bucky, you had one job. Had one one job. job. And she distracted you. I'm sorry. Oh, she was maybe putting a tracker on him as, or whatever. Oh, was it a tracker? It was me. Oh, well, that's one damn. Thing. How'd you manage that? Actually, bumping into him. Mercury vapor, amongst other things. <laughs> Mercury vapor. You better speed things up, Sam. The chopper's about to take off. Yeah. Bucky. I don't fly, man. That's your thing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Bucky should be handing Dovich. Fuck. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, bye. Bye bye. I love his new wings. Oh, that was a good catch. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Oh. Red Wing, see if anyone in there has flight training. Mm, okay. Worst case hmm. scenario, we kill the hostages. What the fuck is wrong with this bitch? We're supposed to use them to negotiate, to stop that vote. Those are all politicians. You're going to be going to jail for life. The way our message gets out to the world. It doesn't even matter if we die. The movement is strong enough to continue without us. I beg to differ on that. Hold tight, move fast. One world. Yeah, her movement dies when she's done. I feel like. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh! Good job, Sam! <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, that's so sick! That was so cool. That was so cool. Need a diversion. Give him someone to rescue. No! That's not good. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with them? Uh, is his metal arm strong Morgan enough to pull that off? <gasps> Walker? Oh, you can kind of see it's a re replica. It's a strong contraption. Oh, there's a dent on it. Jesus Christ! Oh, some frenzy now. I think he's going into a forever frenzy mode now. Ooh. There's the Bucky that we know. Woo! On your earbud. Oh, a little birdie told me you know how to fly a helicopter. <laughs> a little birdie, aka Red Wing. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, uh, yes. Boy, you just earned this ass whooping. Yes. Okay, what we're gonna do requires perfect timing. We're gonna count down from five. So really risky. Get to one, you're gonna grab the control. <sighs> I'm goosebumps right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy fucking shit. Ah! Ah! Yeah! That was so cool. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Come on, Bucky. Oh my goodness. Is John Walker going to try and be a hero and we're trying to um, re uh, regain his reputation or going to go after Carly? Oh, I guess he's doing it. Maybe. 
<gasps> oh no! Ah, oh, Christ! Oh, okay. Yeah! Sam! <laughs> oh, he has two of them! That's cool. I've never seen that before. Sam is so good! Yes! No, it's Captain America! That's Captain America. The Sam doesn't even have serum, and he can do that. That's... <gasps> Bitch. Oh! Yes! Fucking right. You of all people bought into that bullshit. I'm trying something different. Maybe you should do the same. <laughs> <gasps> what the fuck? <gasps> oh, Dovich. Ah, uh, it's not that. Whenever they split up, it's never good. <gasps> they left Stan by himself? Why well, if it's like the bad people? More powerful bad people on that side. Drop your weapon, Carly. Darren! I said drop it. She was doing that? You know, when you came to Madripoor, you reminded me of a young me. Hey. Okay. Took you in, gave you an opportunity. And you what? betrayed me. Because you wanted to control a world that hurt you, but I wanted to change it. Is she the power broker? Power or an empire? What? What? Like this? Come back and work for me again, all of you. We can make a difference together. Without a super soldier, how much power does a power broker really have? It's true. Ah, uh, I was wondering whether, wondering that was gonna happen when we're gonna see power broker. There's only one episode left. You're the power broker. You hired Batroc to spy on me. Carly, you know I'm always prepared. Get out <gasps> of the way. Oh. Alors maintenant, Power Broker. So. Tu vas devoir me payer quatre fois ce que tu me devais. Four times. Or. <gasps> Kill ten this time, then what, a hundred? Where does it end? Don't try and manipulate me. Carly, don't! <laughs> Oh! Damn! Yes, Sam! Stay down! No. Oh. Justice. Damn! It's a great app. <laughs> They've been caught. That's right. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm oh my fucking god! Mm -hmm. <gasps> Sharon Trotter! I'm sorry. I'm sad, but not sad. Like I don't really have much sympathy for Carly. Just after the. The way she carried herself and the and how she orchestrated all this stuff and like I kinda understand her movement, but at the same time I don't. Like the way she's going about it is the wrong way. Hmm. What happened to the flag smash? When does the government make you Captain America? Y'all need to stop. That's too many questions. Your peacekeeping troops carrying weapons are forcing millions of people into settlements around the world, right? What do you think those people are going to call you? Hmm. These labels, hmm. the terrorist, refugee, thug, they're often used to get around the question why. Those who you think it is fair for governments to have to support them. Yes. And the people who idea how complicated this situation is. He has no idea what the flag smashers you know what, right. stand for in their ideologies. And that's a good thing. Once 
all the people who've been begging, and I mean literally begging for you to feel how hard any given day is, now you know. How did it feel mm -hmm. to be helpless? You just don't understand. I'm a black man carrying the stars and stripes. What don't I understand? Every time I pick this thing up, I know there are millions of people out there who are going to hate me for it. Hmm. The stares, the judgment. And there's nothing Oh, there's Isaiah. They no saw Persephone on. No blonde hair or blue eyes. We can't demand that people step up and we don't meet them halfway. Real. You control the banks. Shit, you can move borders. Question is, who's in the room with you when you're making those decisions? And you're, are you going to do anything about it? Is it the people you're going to impact? Or is it just more people like you? I mean, this girl died trying to stop you. And no one has stopped for one second to ask why. You've got to do better, Senator. You've got to step up. Look, you people have Give your eyes as a much shake. power. Your head a shake here. God. Oh. The question you have to ask yourself is, how are you going to use it? Ah, uh, Sam's so good at this, like, uh, talking to people and, like, being very wise and giving his wisdom and sorry, his perspective was, uh, is so texting, good. And so all I heard was uh, I'm a black guy in stars and stripes. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Cap. Thanks. Uh, Cap? What's up? So, we got eyes on the last flag smasher that fell into the Hudson. He's yeah. hurt, but not down. Can you help? Always. Yeah! <laughs> One people. The fuck? That guy. Uh, that guy is Zemo. Zemo's. Zemo's uh, pilot. I feel like I hope that it's him. We only saw him for like a couple of scenes in one of the episodes. Like our friend Zemo kind of got the last laugh. Our friend right. Zemo? What the hell? Wow. Couldn't have worked better if I'd planned it myself. Oh, well, maybe I did. No, I'm kidding. Is she I working didn't. with Zemo? What? Or did I? Now this is more like it. It's a new suit. It's the same. But black. Yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah. Things are about to get weird. So when they do. We're not going to need a Captain America. We're going to need a U.S. agent. <laughs> back, back, back. Like, is he going to be a, <laughs> a bad guy? He's back, but a different, like, character. I don't know, like, he's not obviously not Captain America, so I don't really know what, what we would call him now. Oh! But he's gonna talk to Yuri. Sam said last episode. What are you doing here? He's trying to be a service to someone that he's hurt. About your son. He was murdered. What? By the Winter Soldier. He's gonna tell him. He's gonna tell him. He's gonna tell him. And that was me. Didn't have a choice. Dr. Raynor? Oh, it's his therapist. Oh, the book. Oh, you finished the book. What you want, Black Falcon? Now you need to learn some manners. <laughs> yeah. He ain't a Falcon anymore. <laughs> but he's still black. I saw what you did out there. And seen so did everyone else. I ain't gonna lie. You're special. Hmm. I mean, you ain't no Malcolm or Martin Mandela, but no argument there. So a black Captain America, huh? Damn right. Damn right. <laughs> so awesome. I'm not gonna let anybody tell me I can't fight for it. Not after what everybody before me went through. Including you. Mm-hmm. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Uh, 
why don't you clean up? There's um something I want to show you. Oh, his little statue. Oh, that's so sweet. Now they'll never forget oh. what you did for this country. Damn. Yeah. Never. Aww. How sweet. Let's take the boat for a ride. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 On behalf of the United States intelligence community, I'd like to offer you and your family our sincerest apologies. We'd like to offer you a full pardon. Yes. There may be an opening in your old division. Is that something you'd be interested in? Yeah. That would be my honor. Welcome home, Agent Carter. The music's changed. <gasps> She's up to something. Super soldiers might be off the menu, but we're about to have full access to government secrets, prototype weapons, you name it. Should be something for everyone. Oh my goodness! Yo, that was insane. I absolutely loved this episode. Everything came together. Um, very surprising um, about, you know, um, how there was even more people that were part of Carly's movement inside the buildings and inside like the NYPD and they're all like working together and I was like, holy shit, this is insane. How like Carly was just a teenager and she was able to put this massive movement together is incredible. So I definitely give her kudos on that. But I don't, I don't know why, but I'm still keeping to my word about Carly on how, uh, how I really felt about her, which is like, I'm, I wasn't really grabbed by her as like, you know, this like, I'm not really, wouldn't seem necessarily deem her as a villain, but she was causing some trouble from from your certain perspective, even though she was wanted, it was all about this movement of hers. And uh, cause she didn't agree with the government and what they were doing. But I think the way that she did everything and the way she went about things wasn't the right way. I think if it was done differently, I think a lot of people, more people would be on board. Like even Sam was saying that he understands her movement and agrees with her, but the way that she's doing it is the wrong way because she's killing people now. And she died at the very end, uh, which is, I felt like it was expected because I felt like it was her part was coming to a close and like she's kind of getting cornered and all this stuff and Sam was was being kind of polite by not fighting her, but uh, but then Sharon ended up shooting her. And speaking of Sharon, she is the power broker. I was like, oh my goodness, how did we not know that? Like for the longest time, which is very very interesting because I thought that you were making it out as he was gonna kill uh, Carly, but was that some sort of pseudo? Um, like cover up for actually Sharon and then it was just like the, the literally the power broker was in front of her face in Madripoor episode 3 and it was called the power broker but we didn't they didn't introduce the power broker as as like you know Sharon was which was very interesting and that would make sense that you know she is lives in the higher end of Madripoor and all the other people in, in like the underground, like Selby and stuff, were kind of working for her, or were kind of fearful of her. Of, of my understanding, they may have not, but I was kind of interpreting that. And then when we got the text message, when, sorry, when when Carly got the text message saying like if you have the serums or if you don't have the serums, I'm gonna kill you, was interesting because now we we know that it was you know Sharon texting 
uh, Carly that. And then also she was, you know, tracking, uh, you know, Walker and and was also in the communicating with Sam and Bucky, but Sam and Bucky don't know that Sharon is a power broker. And so it's like this, it, it, so I thought, overall, I thought Sharon's character was super interesting. And then when I remember, you know, Sharon's on the phone, and then there's this guy named uh, Baltrock, I think his name is pronounced. He was uh, on the phone with Sharon, and then Sharon was telling him to do something, and we didn't know exactly what it was until this episode. And he starts, like, you know, screaming, and then she's like, are you finished yet? And then it ended up being this guy, uh, uh, Dovich, whatever, which is interesting and but he ended up dying uh as well so he didn't he had a very small part in this uh series and which when i think about it um i was kind of disappointed in that part only because with episode one they start off you know with you know sam chasing down uh dovich and stuff in you know the middle east and then we don't see him and then, but then, uh, and then, then it all came about Flag Smashers. And then, so they had the LEF and then Flag Smashers. And then at first I was like, are they the same organization? They're two separate. And then they're, they're obviously two separate. But then, sorry, going back to the phone call with Sharon and Dovich, that uh, he, she was paying him money to infiltrate Carly to spy on her and to give him the, her the coordinates and like, and so she had no idea, so Carly had no idea that she, their, her group was being infiltrated, which is insane. And like, because like when I think about it, like even from Winter Soldier, when we got, when we saw Sharon, she was only working, she was working for like this, for uh, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. or CIA, and uh, she was keeping close con like quarters or she was keeping an eye on Steve, and um, but the, but her and Dovich never had any contact. So the fact that she was contacting him about stuff is really interesting in like how a lot of stuff has changed over the years since Winter Soldier and this series. Um, when I think about it, and how she's like like so um, good at combat now. Like she was okay, but she got so much better. And, uh, and also, she got the pardon, so Sam kept his word and his promise, got her a pardon, but then she was, like, like left, and then the music trying to really change some more dramatic, and then she called up someone and was like, now we have access to government secrets and, and all this stuff, so it's like, what? Like, uh, I feel like also, you know, Sharon's gonna be the role in the power broker is going to be even more prevalent and it kind of indicates that there'll be a second season because how why would they leave off this cliffhanger like that and then not do a second season because there's more stuff going to be um dealt with in the future which is insane but i may have missed something but i honestly felt like sam and bucky don't know that Sharon is power broker. So if there was anything about her in the second season, it's gonna be a huge surprise to them. Um, maybe I missed it though, so let me know. Uh, Cause I'll, there's so much going on. So like, I'm trying to get all the information, but sometimes I miss some stuff, but then the other thing is, I thought it was weird that, you know, Walker comes in and then tries to be you know captain american because he's still kind of in this fervor and still believes that he is captain america even though his that title was stripped away from him from what he did in you know episode four when he killed that foreign national and then they and then he just like pairs up with bucky and then they start running the one direction while sam goes the other way in that little like underground building uh and then sam and and Walker deal with those three other super soldiers and get them arrested. But when we found out that they were working for her organization anyway, so it's just it was just for, you know, drama and you know, and so but I just thought that was weird because we were on the impression I was on the impression that Sam and Bucky didn't like Walker 
then, but now they're just teaming up again? I, I don't know, I thought that was a bit weird. I mean, I guess it served its purpose in this episode, but I um, thought that was a bit odd. I'm not sure about you guys. Also, with Val giving Walker a new suit, it's basically the same, but it is black and red. And don't know what that does. I don't know what to think about that. Like, I think it's a cool suit, but does that change? Like, is he a villain now? Or like, because I don't even know what Val's position is in in upcoming Marvel stuff. Like, she she found out that she that Walker took the serum, this and that. And as I just said that, I'm like. Is she kind of working with, you know, Power Broker and, and because how does she know that he took the serum? So obviously she had intelligence about that. And the only thing I can think about to also know that he took the serum would be, you know, Power Broker and Sharon would tell her. Because she was, because Val was acting weird about, you know, like it's, the, um, the Captain America shield is not technically government property. It's a it's a gray zone, and so she's up to something. She's cooking up something, uh, maybe nasty. I have no idea. But uh, when I put the pieces together, it just kind of I don't have the puzzle all put together. But I, I they're giving us hints of what Val's character's position is in in the, a future story, and it's going to be more clear and evident of what she is all about. Sam's suit, how fresh, so good. I loved it so much. I guess that's what the Wakandans, you know, gave um, Sam and it is so good. Definitely upgrade. Love that he's black, Captain America, like as he should have been in episode freaking one. And I felt like that Steve made a good decision on passing his his shield to Sam. This episode was really clear. Like I was always in agreement of Sam having it, but the fact that, but the thing is that Sam knows, sorry, Steve knows Sam's background and you know and how Sam was you know kind of helping people through problems, especially in the military area, and as we saw in Winter Soldier. And the fact that he has that kind of that training to kind of see people's reasoning and to kind of, um, you know, talk things over. It really helped in this episode by talking to these senators or these like the global or the, um, the RC, uh, our GRC people that they kind of seem like the globalists, to be honest, especially with their, their propaganda ads that they were showing, you know, and, um, saw like let them see reasoning like these they were calling these people terrorists but sam was like they i don't think that's necessarily the right title to put them because they're just not agreeing with what you're doing they're not you're not giving them resources to make their lives better and you're not meeting them halfway and so that's why other like factions or organizations like example flag smashers were doing this uh, because they had the goal and they weren't agreeing with the government and, you know, um, and all this political stuff um, there. And so that's why I just love Sam and how he can just, like I said, seek reasoning and bring people down and make people connected and, and really think about things instead of just thinking about, you know, what... Um, like he was saying, like, are you just doing this to push this agenda or someone that you were reporting to? Like, he's like, you control the banks, like, you can do what you want, <laughs> like, you can, and, um, which is really, really cool. And then I think the last thing I wanted to leave off is that when, uh, those three super soldiers were being arrested and they're getting into the car, there was someone watching them get arrested and they blew up the car. And then we, the camera like pans over to that old guy. And I'm pretty sure that was Zemos's pilot that we saw. Um, which is, I'm very curious as to how he still has communications with Zemo and the raft person. Because that raft person is sealed shut. Like you, there's no communication coming into that, in that facility. 
So the fact that um, like I did that is interesting, but it could be someone else that it isn't Zemos's pilot. Um, it, and uh, it's someone that we don't we don't know yet. Maybe um, I don't know. I just think that it's it's gonna be interesting and. Uh, I, I felt like, like, you know, the pilot wasn't very, didn't really serve much of a purpose. He'd only had like a couple lines in the episode three, and then we saw him in this one, I guess, that I can remember, but you'll correct me in the comments, but so, so good. I really, really enjoyed it. And yeah, this just wraps up my initial thoughts of episode six of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, stay positive. Love everyone. Hate no one. Peace out. Bye.